Alright, welcome to the new update. This is the new map I added. I'll show you the driving feature after this. I have it in another video. I'm just showing you guys what I've added so far since I recently made the last video. We got sounds coming from the ragdoll trying to get the zombie trying to get out. I added a ragdoll to animation there. Now you see there's computers in the door. So when you go here, access security camera one, pops up a command console. You press and hold down six to view the first camera. Now the the key card over there on the left is just a placeholder. These are actually rendered images from Blender that I use for GUI textures. And you can hit 7, and this is where the zombies come through in the hallway behind the door. So now you know where the key card is. And as you can see, find a way into the underground facility. That's where you get the key card to open the door to the underground facility. And I'll add more to the map after this. You get the card. door and then there's zombies coming in I will add security cameras up on the walls just to make it more realistic but for now it's a work in progress and it's great it works great and I like it you also can use these to block any zombies coming if you move them in time them. You can drag them out, push them, use them as barricades. There we go. Zombies will have to try and get around them. As you can see, the zombies collide with them now. See the zombies are breaking through that wall, they can get through. Only in that area. It just helps it so the AI does not get stuck in the wall. But I can't even go over there. You'll see once I kill all the zombies. I can't even go in this wall. It's blocked for me. Only for AI that I can pass through. As you can see, I made the spotlight much wider and better. And yeah, this is Sparta. Ah. So yeah, that's it for my update. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe.